in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. My dear brethren, my fellow inhabitants of planet Earth, I am sure that you are witnessing very strange happenings in your country, in your community, in your home, and even in your bodies. I know that we are all very busy people, but please, brethren, please listen attentively to this crucial 30 minute video to the end and find out why we are witnessing these unusual daily occurrences and what we should do for our security, for our salvation and for the protection of our families from greater things to come including three days of complete darkness worldwide and many other overwhelming and devastating cosmic signs and wonders. Brethren, people of this present world, I heard you all to stop, look, listen, learn, assimilate, and take decisive action now, one way or the other, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Final warning to planet Earth. This is the Holy Spirit revelation. History reveals that the inhabitants of planet Earth always choose pleasure and destruction over God's injunction and instruction. From the beginning of the world up to this day, human beings always ignore God's divine teachings, His commandments, His injunctions and instructions and choose the activities and pleasures of this world which leads to destruction. Many people concentrate on money, food, drinking, sex, dancing, trading, politics, church activities, gospel music, and so forth. Right from the beginning, man's nature is always to rebel against his creator by ignoring and rejecting his divine messengers and their messages. The people of today are doing exactly as the people of old. Here are the facts. Listen very, very attentively and compare the past with the present. Number one, Noah delivered God's injunctions and instructions to the inhabitants of the world and warned them of the impending flood that will destroy them if they don't change from their evil ways. He preached to the people for 120 years while he was building the ark. But they ignored, taunted and ridiculed him and called him a madman. They questioned and argued. How can one build an ark where there is neither river nor sea for it to sail on? They also doubted where the water would come from to cause a flood and then float the ark. Many of them used the ark as toilet while it was being built. After completion of the ark, Noah, his family and the peer of every creature entered the ark and closed the windows. Soon after, the heavens were opened. It rained continuously until the flood destroyed all and sundry. The entire population perished. Only Noah's family of eight persons were saved. Number two, in the case of Sodom and Gomorrah, 
Lot delivered God's message to the people and warned them of the impending destruction of the two cities by fire if they fail to refrain from committing sins and vices. Lot preached to them and pleaded with them to change their evil ways. He continually, he continually reminded them of the great flood that destroyed the people of Noah's generation. Again, they ignored him completely and they questioned and argued where fire would come from to destroy the cities. Because you know, in those days, fire had not been invented and people never knew nor witnessed fires. In the end, fire from heaven destroyed all and sundry. Only Lot and his two daughters were saved. Number three, the great, thing, the great king Pharaoh of Egypt ignored God's injunctions and instructions which were delivered to him via the mouth of Moses. Pharaoh challenged and disobeyed the Most High God, resulting to the destruction of him and his great armies in the Red Sea. Now, Moses freed the children of Israel from bondage in Egypt. In the wilderness, they numbered over 600,000, excluding women and children. They were in the wilderness for 40 years while on their way to the promised land of Kenya. Moses delivered God's commandments, his injunctions and instructions to the people and warned them of God's judgment upon them if they failed to obey and practice them. Again, they ignored, murmured, and complained against God's ordinances, His injunctions and instructions, and they were engaged in all manners of sins and vices. Many of them demanded of Moses to see his God, and because they could not see his God, they turned to idolatry. In the end, most of them perished in the wilderness and just an insignificant minority of them reached the land of Canaan. Number four, Elijah came and delivered God's warning to the people because of their worshipping of idols. Again, they ignored him completely and they attempted to kill him as they did to all the other prophets. In the end, 400,000 worshippers of Baal were destroyed by fire from heaven. Number five, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God and God himself, came as a human being to the world. Before the shedding of his precious blood, he preached to the people daily for three and a half years. He healed the sick performed many miracles and fed his followers with bread and fish. He had up to 7,000 followers, but in the end, they all deserted him, leaving only the disciples who believed him, practiced and evangelized his teachings. The people of that generation mocked him, called him names such as such as Beelzebub, Prince of Devil, Demented Fellow, etc., etc. They ignored him completely and refused to accept him as Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God. In the end, they crucified him, thinking that that would be the end of Jesus the Christ. But our Lord Jesus Christ conquered death resurrected and lives forever and ever after. Finally, number six. Today, the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Ubu, has been preaching to the entire world for over 50 years. 
reproving the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. He revealed and established the kingdom of God, which is the brotherhood of the cross and star. Leader Olumba Olumba Abu also revealed his holiness Olumba Olumba Abu, who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who will rule and judge the entire world, which is new government, which is the unified universal theocracy, which was launched on the 7th of April 2012. Leader Olumba Olumba Obu is warning and pleading with the inhabitants of the entire world to refrain from sins and vices, to love one another as God loves us, or face the impending judgment of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That judgment has already begun, for the kingdoms of this world must come to an end and be replaced by the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ. The process of transition has already started, as we are now witnessing in the daily global occurrences of lawlessness, civilian uprising, fighting, destruction, reformation and reconstruction. Leader Olumba Olumba Obu further revealed that this time is the era of the Holy Spirit, that the owner of the vineyard has now arrived to take full control of his planet Earth, and that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords shall rule and judge all nations of the world, and he shall reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brethren, People of today's world, look at the pictures of today's world. Remember, remember the people of old. They too were doing the very same until the day total destruction came. For they had rejected God's messengers and they had ignored God's messages. Today, we are now doing the same thing and we are sure to suffer for the same thing if we reject the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba Olumba Obu, and if we ignore the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu. Brethren, people of this present world, the world during the time of Noah and of Solomon and Gomorrah is the same world of this present age. The people who are enjoying their lifestyle of working, trading, entertaining, drinking, eating, dancing, singing, going to church, quarreling, fighting, fornicating, stealing, and indulging in all manner of sins and vices and ignoring the teachings, the injunctions, the revelations, and the instructions of the Most High God until the doomsday of total destruction. Brethren, people of today's world, are we not doing the same thing as the people of all? Many people concentrate on maintaining their lifestyle, money, Food, sex, clothes, music and drinks are their top priority, followed by houses, furniture, cars, holidays, educational, educational attainment, politics, church services and gospel music. They ignore and refuse to accept God's divine messages, His revelations, His teachings, his injunctions and instructions. They disregard any new teachings that will change or interrupt their lifestyle. Brethren, people of this present world, there are now over a billion of us on planet Earth. But right now, 
about 99.9% .9 do not yet believe nor accept the recondite teachings and revelations of the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu. They do not believe that Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is really and truly the kingdom of God that was being prayed for. They do not believe that His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu is truly the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. They also do not believe nor accept that God and His begotten Son can ever appear on earth as human beings. Instead, the vast majority of people are laughing and jeering at these two divine beings. In fact, they scorn and jokingly mock at the very name of Olumba Olumba Obu. My dear brethren, people of today's world, look at the pictures of today's world. Remember, remember the people of old. They too were doing the very same until the day total destruction came, for they had rejected God's messengers and they had ignored God's messages. Today we are now doing the same thing and we are sure to suffer for the same thing if we reject the Holy Spirit of Truth leader Olumba Olumba Obu and if we ignore the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu. My dear brethren, people of this present world, are we not behaving exactly as the people of Noah? Like the people of Sodom and Gomorrah? Like the Pharisees? Like the scribes? And like the people during the time when our Lord Jesus Christ was on earth as a human being, teaching and revealing the ways and mysteries of our Father God, the Creator? Brethren, people of this present world, history has repeated itself several times to serve as a lesson and a warning to us. But history shows that human beings always refuse to change from bad to good. They also refuse to take heed of these divine words of warning, such as, the wages of sin is death. Many are called, but few are chosen. Not everyone that shout, Lord, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, will enter into the kingdom of God. Those who are going to hell are countless. From now, right down to the advent of our Lord Jesus Christ on earth, history has shown that the vast majority of the population always ignored and reject God's messengers and their divine messages and they were destroyed and always only an insignificant minority were saved. Brethren, people of this present world, our Lord Jesus Christ who is the Son of God and God Himself came to earth as a human being. Today, the Holy Spirit of Truth and the King of Kings and Lords of Lords are on earth as human beings. What is the difference? There is no difference. They are truly human beings, but they are not ordinary human beings because they are from heaven and they should be treated with reverence and awe. The words that proceed out of their mouths prove that they are from heaven. Today's Christians and the masses of people swear that they will never, never acknowledge nor worship a human being as God. 
So did the people of the previous generations. Today, all over the world, you hear people shouting, Jesus, Jesus, in the precious name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. The blood of Jesus washed me clean. I found Jesus. Jesus called me. I am saved by Jesus. Etc. Etc. Brethren, people of this present world, are all these shouts not vainless, hypocritical, and empty? Since they swear that they will never, never worship a human being as God. Was our Lord Jesus Christ not a human being? Was our Lord Jesus Christ not the Son of God and God himself in human form, being part of the Holy Trinity? Brethren, people of this present world, our Lord Jesus Christ said, If your righteousness does not exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Compare this statement of our Lord Jesus Christ with today's statement by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu. He said, If your righteousness does not exceed the righteousness of the church denominations, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Brethren, people of this present world, does these two statements not mean the same thing? Brethren, people of this present world, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the elders and scribes, the temples and the synagogues of yesterday are the popes, the archbishops, the bishops, the pastors, the theologists, the church leaders and their churches, the grand masters and their secret societies, and the various cults of today. My dear brethren, people of today's world, look at the pictures of today's world. Remember, remember the people of old. They too were doing the very same until the day total destruction came. For they had rejected God's messengers and they had ignored God's messages. Today we are now doing the same thing, and we are sure to suffer for the same thing if we reject the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, and if we ignore the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu. Brethren, people of this present world, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit has done everything to warn us and to change us. All that we must now do to save ourselves and to obtain salvation is to submit to the revelations and recondite teachings of the Holy Spirit of Truth Leader Olumba Olumba Obu. Practice them. Love and respect one another as God loves us. There is no other way in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the only way, the truth, and the life forever and ever. Amen. Finally, brethren, people of this world, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. God is no respecter of persons. All sinners will be destroyed on judgment day. Everlasting tears, weeping and gnashing of teeth shall befall all those who denounce and reject the brotherhood of the cross and star, which is the kingdom of God. Everlasting tears, weeping and gnashing of teeth shall befall all those who Reject and denounce the recondite teachings of the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu. Everlasting tears, weeping and gnashing of teeth 
shall befall all those who refuse to submit to the rule of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu and His Universal Government, which is the Unified Universal Theocracy. Brethren, people of this present world, the rulership and judgment of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords has already begun. Take note of the current daily global occurrences. This is the period of transition, destruction and reconstruction. Brethren, people of this present world, if you think the destructions which include pandemic diseases, famines, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, fires, flooding, etc., etc., will not reach your area, think again. Today's worldly governments, principalities, and scientists have made provisions for protection against destruction by wind, by fire and water. They manufacture massive ships, spacecraft, and submarines as protection against what they call the powers of nature. They will never say the powers of God, you know. But these things prove to be ineffective against the powers of God. They also heard that destruction of the world will be by fire. Hence, they manufacture fire extinguishers. They fail to know that God is a consuming fire that burns without flame or smoke in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, people of this present world, brother out of the cross and star is the only source of salvation and protection from the imminent judgment of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords as we are now witnessing. Brethren, people of this present world, any other choice you make will lead to destruction, damnation, and hellfire in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brethren, People of today's world, look at the pictures of today's world. Remember, remember the people of old. They too were doing the very same until the day destruction came. For they had rejected God's messages and they had ignored God's messages. Brethren, people of today's world, today we are now doing the same thing and we are sure to suffer for the same thing if we reject the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, and if we ignore the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you Father.